Athena Mensalopoulos was one of the most powerful people in the Clark clique. The longtime liberal became known as the bridesmaid because she was once part of Christy Clark's wedding party. She held a variety of the most senior roles in Clark's 2011 to 2017 administration. Mensalopoulos was the head of government communications in 2012 when the BC Liberals falsely claimed that the RCMP was investigating a health data breach. That lie led to several defamation lawsuits and a suicide. In 2016 and 2017, she was the Deputy Minister of Finance under Mike de Jong, who concealed a damning report about money laundering at River Rock Casino. Mensalopoulos was fired on the last day of the 16-year BC Liberal dynasty and received a $475,000 golden parachute. She became the Canadian Credit Union Association's head lobbyist. Mensalopoulos starred in the Treasury Board's May 2017 boxing-themed video in pursuit of the Premier's Award of Excellence for the Finance Ministry's five balanced budgets. The video does not tell the truth. The B.C. Liberals balanced budgets by hiking rates for electricity and car insurance and then raiding the accounts of taxpayer-owned monopolies B.C. Hydro and ICBC. The NDP's John Horgan became Premier in July 2017 and the Treasury Board did not win. Outtakes from Mensalopoulos' interview were obtained by the breaker under Freedom of Information. Please tell us what video this is for. This is to support the nomination uh, for Treasury Board for five balanced budgets. Please give us your name, spell your last name, your position or title, and ministry or organization. My name is Athana Mensalopoulos. It's uh, spelled just like it sounds. (laughs) M-E-N-T-Z-E-L-O-P-O-U-L-O-S, Ministry of Finance, and I'm the Deputy Minister here. Just <laughs> some background on the change in the economy that was the driving force behind the return to balanced budgets. Well, we've had a very strong economy in British Columbia, and there's an old saying that says, make hay while the sun shines. And so it's a really good idea when you are in that kind of an economy, when you do see very healthy revenues, to try to pay down some of your debt, to try to balance your budget, and to try to get into a healthier space on your balance sheet. Ask me again then. <laughs> yeah. I love those short little nuggets. But, okay. And, and it's always nice to give us options, like if you have a longer one or a shorter one. Okay. Can you give some background on the change in the economy that was the driving force behind the return to balance budgets? A big part of it was the fact that we have had the strongest economy in Canada over quite an extended period of time. Perfect. Between the two, it's perfect. Are five balanced budgets important to... Sorry, that was my fault. (laughs) Why are five balanced budgets important to government? Every one of those five has been important, and it's basically because when you borrow money, someday, somehow, you will have to pay it back. So it's better not to borrow to begin with. Excellent. Treasury board staff for? Well, I always say pop my bubble. Uh, Treasury board staff has a very effective but kind way of making sure I'm well informed. Perfect, short and sweet. Yeah, that's great. What was the driving, the focus, need to balance? Well, a budget always reflects ultimately political decision making, that's appropriate, and our budgets certainly do that. But again, it comes back to the fact we've had a great economy and that's a good time to get your finances in order. Treasury Board staff is being nominated for organizational excellence. Because they are awesome. Can you say the Treasury Board staff? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, now it's not gonna feel so authentic. <laughs> Treasury Board staff are being nominated because they are awesome. Okay, good. I'm sorry, one more time. It's just you're laughing at the end and it was very loud. <laughs> oh, I do have a loud laugh. Uh, okay. Um, Treasury Board staff are being nominated because they're awesome. Good. Excellent. Can I ask some questions? Sure. Okay. And when I ask, just answer to Alicia. Okay. Um, so, how does a balanced budget? Um, 
improve the lives of citizens? Well, it's sometimes hard to understand how it improves the lives of citizens right now, right here. It improves the lives of the citizens of tomorrow, the kids who are going to have to pay back all the debt that we have generated.